All right. Uh, hi, everyone. On, on this second uh, video in this series of uh, using Rhino inside Revit, today, or this video, what we're going to look at is how to transfer, how to use Grasshopper to transfer information from Rhino into Revit, uh, something that it seems like a lot of people are struggling with. And uh, so we'll take a look at the process. And you can download these sample files, by the way, off the video links and give it a try yourself. And so uh, what we're starting off here is a is Revit with a Rhino running inside. We still have this toolbar here, like we showed in the last video, how to install it and run it. And I have a blank model up here, a blank Revit model. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open Rhino inside, and I will open a Rhino file. In this case, it's an office building. And you can see here it's just a basic set of massings and some curves. And then what I'll do is I'll open uh, Grasshopper and I'll open the uh, file called Office Rhino to Revit. And when you look at this, you'll see it's a very simple file and a very simple definition. I used some tools from the this Revit toolbar. That's the special Revit toolbar that runs inside of Grasshopper when it's running in Revit. It has uh, this filter mask and which is over here under parameters or input value set picker also used uh here there's a, a component that looks at categories in the document document categories and then over here is the ability to create revit objects from rhino geometry right here and that's that's add direct shape by geometry so you can run this and uh, like you this standard brep component in grasshopper and as you know we need to do is right click on this and say set multiple brep's and i'll go through and i'll just grab some rhino objects here and what that does is it creates it starts to drive all those brep's into this in this case the category that these are being created in is furniture in this case. It's just picking any kind of category you want. But you can see over here I have the objects in Revit. Interesting part about this is because Grasshopper is driving this connection, if I grab the objects here in Rhino and I move them, you can see that they also move in Revit. And so we have a live link here between Rhino and Revit and uh, allows you to quickly move things across as you go. You can, of course, adjust this. You can have it filter for certain objects in Rhino. You can have it look at certain layers. There's a lot of different things you can do here to adjust how this geometry gets into Revit. But on the very basic level, this is a good start. Anyway, so that's the uh, first and probably the easiest workflow that you can do with Rhino inside Revit. Next, I'll show how to get uh, Revit geometry out into Rhino in the next video. So I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.